All right, so what I got here is the Smart Liner floor mats here. And these are WeatherTech alternatives. So I want to give you a look here at the quality and also comparing it to WeatherTech. So this is Smart Liner USA. You can see this is the front passenger side. Everything is laser cut and laser measured, just like WeatherTech. And my previous ones were Le WeatherTech. So I could actually uh, compare and contrast exactly the type of material, the thickness. And these are all the same type of material. If I flip it over here. And it does have these caps that are positioned perfectly for each vehicle. This here is for the MDX. Specifically the Acura 2020 MDX. You can see the sides have the raised edges. So this is particularly the passenger side molded. Same here on the driver side. And I will show you also the contours of the car itself. So just showing you the thickness. Right on this side, the thickness again. And these are rubbery slash plasticky. And judging by just the feel and the texture, it's exactly the same as the WeatherTech. I can't really distinguish any difference between the two of them. Now this is the back seat. And the back seat is one piece across and it does have, once again, the right contours. Slightly raised lip here. And I'll show you also the contours right in the car. This small piece is the third row seating. And the back here. Let's see. This small piece. The thickness is the same. You know, it's pretty rough. You know, it's basically going to last uh, the lifetime of your car. And this big piece is the cargo liner. And this piece is a little bit more rubbery. There might be some crinkles, but those crinkles go away after a few days. So what I've done here is I've actually unboxed it and I laid it flat overnight just to let it uncurl and let the crinkles come out. So, all right, let me go ahead now and uh, I'm gonna show you the contours of the car and actually put it in the car. So let me just give you a quick look here at the contours. So right there, there is the left stepping piece here and the accelerators, the raised edges. And you can see for for the Acura there is that piece that hooks into the mats. So this is the piece that hooks into the mats here. And right behind here, so you can kind of see the fit later on. Raised edges on the left. So what I got here is the driver's side. So you can see this is the footrest on the left. And this is similar to the WeatherTech where it partially covers it all the way up to the top here. So that's no different than the WeatherTech. You can see in the back here, the coverage for the accelerator and pedals and the contour on the side. And let me get a up close view here. You can see it just hugs the side with that raised lip that is, you know, varies from two inches all the way up to five inches up to the top here. Right there, another hugging contour. And towards the seat side, 
you can see it is raised so, so towards the seat side you can see this is raised up covers this area here and again it's laser cut these here are exposed and the reason why they're exposed is once again it has a perpendicular lock so I actually turn this to lock these in place so these smart liners do take this into account here right there zooming in and raised edges for water drainage capturing the water and right towards the seat so these are it raised up covers the top all the way to the back of the seat here and that's the driver's side so on the passenger side here you can see I have another floor mat fastener here now in the bottom here I have a dash cam so I'm going to have this wire running underneath the rubberized floor mats you can see another fastener right there raised edge and there's actually light there so you can see deep in on the passenger side how much it's gonna reach into it on the side here door side also so all right let me just uh, put it in now and also on, on the other side here want to see how it's going to fit towards the seat all right so this was a very snug fit it took me a while to put it in uh you know wiggling it around and uh, tilting it and all of that to try to get it in that's how well a fit it was now if i pan over you could see it does cover on the seat side so you're probably wondering why this is exposed and the reason why is you have to twist it in. It's like a plus minus and it actually locks in place. So once I turn it uh, perpendicular, it actually locks in place. So these uh, smart liners actually take that into account. And if I pan over to the edges, you can see it protects the edges, a raised lip. That's a good two, three inches up. And all the way towards the front you could see it is also once again a perfect fit towards the door here to the side another raised edge raised all the way right there another locking clip over here where you have to turn to lock it in and just to give you a look here this here hugs the sides perfectly and this rounded edge this contour rounded edge here hugs it so this is the passenger side all right so this is the second row and you could see the raised lips and in the center here, it is raised a little bit, so this is one piece contoured all the way across. And you can see right there, it does not block the vent. Same with the middle console here, where it takes that into account, yet it has the raised edges so that it doesn't block this vent here. So they really do basically custom laser measure this. So towards the seat, the raised area. Now, I would say that the back is comparable to the WeatherTech, but the back, you know, is not necessarily a kind of a one piece here. Going all the way across, once again, showing you the raised area towards the seat. So this is where it covers the lock a little bit but it's not exposed. And right there. So just to give you a perfect 
look across the board here. Right there, another close up. So you can't go wrong with Smart Liner or WeatherTech. So this is the third row seating here with the rubberized mat. And this is quite an improvement from the floor mats, especially here having the raised lip once again towards the seats. So those are the seats, the third row seating. And another raised area right here. So this has no locking mechanism, but it should stay in place because of, you know, the edges here that hovers around the second seat right there and just to give you a look here on the left but overall this is another you know basically perfect fit for the third row seating so you can see on this side there's a seat belt so it's not going to block that and right here is the edge So here's the cargo liner for the back and this is with the third row seats down. You could see it, it is straight across right here. Leaves room for the third row seat belts in the back here. Another raised edge, it's about one and a half inches. All the way around the corner here, you can see how snug it is. Room for the seat belts again. And also, it doesn't block this storage area. So, on the sides here, right up to the edge. Right there. And you can see, all the way to the edge. So it's just the perfect fit no different than the WeatherTech. So there you go. And you, you can see there is, you know, a slightly raised edge, but not as prominent as the WeatherTech. But it's still pretty decent. Zooming in. Rounding over here. And that's that.